Hi, Four Man Planners. So I wanted to do the follow-up, part two, talking about guilt and um, how to handle it when you're dating multiple men, when you're doing anything, really. So in the previous video, I said that most of the time, a lot of the time, when we're feeling guilty, it usually means that we're agreeing with some rhetoric that we heard earlier in life. Um, part of us goes ahead and does whatever we want, and then the other part of us later or during um, thinks about God or the church or school or parents or someone unconsciously, our culture, who told, who told us that that wasn't the thing to do. So that's one of the functions of guilt is to sort of keep us in line, keep us in line with society and our culture and our families and that kind of thing. Um, the second thing that inspires guilt, feelings of guilt, and this is probably the more useful one, is when you realize you've done something that's not in alignment with who you want to be. Um, you authentically don't want to, so let's say, hurt somebody's feelings or, you know, do something that um, is taking you away from what you know is your true path. So in that instance, what I always suggest is something that I learned horseback riding. I just came in from my ride, actually, and I'm trying to get the lighting right because I don't normally do this these at night, but I, I was inspired. I was horseback riding, and I remember my very first teacher um, <clears throat> telling me, while I was out of control on this horse and it was taking off with me and having its way with me and I kept trying to figure out what I had done wrong to set him off that way and now why was he doing this and why was he doing that and every time I was thinking one step behind where I actually was in the moment. In the moment I was a little out of control and so I was thinking what did I do to make that happen? But Cody, Cody, my instructor, <laughs> a cowboy, he said to me, listen, the only way to ride is to correct forward. And that means wherever you're at, you need to do what it's going to take for you to be on the horse and the path that you want to be on. So instead of working backwards, he suggested right now, if you're a little bit out, out of control or things aren't going the way you want them to go, what is the next thing that you can do to get you back on the path, get you back on that horse that you want to be on and make you feel calm and positive again? So that's what I suggest. Rather than feel guilty, if you realize that you've done something that that isn't really in your best interest, isn't on your path, isn't honest, loving, and willing, which I encourage all women to be. You know, you find yourself awake, passed out in some dude's place, and I, oh my God, I think I had sex with him. I don't know what happened. You know, it's really easy to beat yourself up. So this is also a cure for self-flagellation beating yourself up, which is something I know we all do a lot of, um, and that's right up there with guilt as far as like useless activities and mind spaces. So instead of beating yourself up, instead of feeling guilty about the past, whether it was three seconds ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, go ahead and correct forward. And if you feel yourself locked into a mindset that was trained into you by someone a long time ago, then go ahead and try to correct forward from that as well. We all have choices to make and, um, you know, we might all be crazy. So if you're going to be crazy, why not pick crazy happy, crazy good time, Crazy I don't hurt anybody. Crazy I'm honest, loving, and willing. Crazy I date a few guys at once. So what? Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So I will see you again soon. And correct forward if you ain't having a great time. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.